Hello friends, welcome to C programming video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand data types in C language. We understood that data type indicates the type of data. To store and process different types of data, C provides two different types of data types. They are primitive data types and non-primitive data types. Primitive data types are also called as basic data types. Non-primitive data types are also called as derived or complex or composite data types. There are five different primitive data types available in C language. They are int, float, double, char and wide. Int indicates integer type of data that is whole numbers. Float and double indicate real type of data that is fractional numbers. Char indicates character type of data and wide indicates nothing. We know that data type not only indicates the type of data, it also indicates the amount of memory to be allocated for a specific type of data. For integer type of data, 4 bytes of memory location will be allocated or 2 bytes of memory location will be allocated depending upon the system's word size. For float type of data, 4 bytes of memory location will be allocated. For double type of data, 8 bytes of memory location will be allocated. For character type of data, 1 byte of memory location will be allocated. For white type of data, 1 or 0 byte memory location will be allocated. We have seen in the previous video tutorial, in the code blocks, we have seen that for integer type of data, 4 bytes of memory location will be allocated. For float type of data, 4 bytes of memory location will be allocated. For double type of data, 8 bytes of memory location will be allocated. For character type of data, 1 byte of memory location will be allocated. For white type of data, 1 byte of memory location will be allocated. Data type not only indicates the type of data and the amount of memory to be allocated for a specific type of data, data type also indicates the possible range of values can be stored in a specific type of variable or a constant. What is a variable or a constant? You can think like variable or a constant is a chunk of memory, a memory location. Data type determines the minimum and a maximum value possible to store in a specific type of variable or a constant. If int is of 2 bytes, then a variable or a constant of type int can have 65,536 numbers. How do we say 65,536 numbers only? If int is of 2 bytes, that means 16 bits. We know that binary number system base is 2 raised to the power of 16 is equal to 65,536. That is the reason I am telling a variable or a constant of type int of 2 bytes can have 65,536 numbers. If I divide it by 2, it is equal to 32,768. The minimum value possible to store is minus 32,768. And the maximum value possible to store is 32,767. If you count from minus 32,768 to plus 32,767, it is going to be 65,536 friends. Similarly, if int is of 4 bytes, then a variable or a constant of type int can have 4 billion plus values or 4 billion plus numbers. How do we say 4 billion plus numbers? If int is of 4 bytes, 4 bytes means 32 bits. So, here I say 2 raised to the power of 32 is equal to 4 billion plus, you can see that. If I divide it by 2, it is going to be 21474836488. So, it's a 2 billion plus number. The minimum value possible is minus 21474836488 and the maximum value possible is 21474836487. If you count from minus 21474836488 to 21474836487, it is going to be 4 billion plus. Minimum is minus 2 billion and maximum is plus 2 billion plus. If a variable or a constant is of float type of data, then the minimum value possible to store is 1.2e minus 38. And the maximum value possible is 3.4e plus 38. 
if a variable or a constant is of type double then the minimum value possible to store is 2.3e minus 308 and the maximum value possible is 1.7e plus 308 you can see the difference here minus 38 minus 308 plus 38 plus 308 there is a lot difference you can see if a variable or a constant is of character type of data the minimum value possible is minus 128 and the maximum value possible to store is 127 1 byte is equal to 8 bits let me take the calculator clear this 2 raised to the power of 8 is equal to 256 256 values possible to store in a variable or a constant of character type if i divide it by 2 it is going to be 128 so minimum value possible is minus 128 and the maximum value possible is 127 if you count from minus 128 to 127 it is going to become 256 let's have a demonstration and display the minimum value possible to store and the maximum value possible to store in a specific type of a variable or a constant let me minimize the ms word i double click on code blocks to launch the code blocks ide you can see that the code blocks ide got launched i am going to create one new project by going to file say new click on the project i select project say console application say go then i say next select c language say next then i give the project title as min max demo then i say next say finish you can see that min max demo project is open i click on the plus sign double click on main.c to open it i zoom little bit so that we can see the content properly and i select this line of code say delete i do not want that code now when i say build and run we know that the hash include preprocessor directive is going to direct the preprocessor to include stdio.h in the main.c file stdio.h is going to be included in the main.c file and then the program execution begins at main function the printf function displays hello world exclamation mark and move the cursor to the next line then zero will be returned to the operating system if i say build and run you see hello world exclamation mark got displayed i hit enter now we display min and max ma values okay here i say int min equal to if i say build and run you can see we are seeing int min equal to i hit enter and we are going to take help of some constants available already in the library that is int underscore min min if i say build and run you see an error that int min is undeclared it is telling that i don't know what is the meaning of int min where is it int min is available in another header file that is limits.h file i need to include that to use this constant here i say hash include limits dot h close in the limits dot h we have this macro int min if i right click say find declaration for int min it goes to the limits dot h file that is the reason i have included here limits dot h to use int min in my program if i say build and run system is displaying int min equal to there is no minimum value right i hit enter how do we display the value of int min we need to take help of format specifiers that we learned in the previous video tutorials here i say percentage i and then i say backward slash n this time when i say build and run the printf function is going to display int min equal to this place is going to be replaced by the value of int min and then backward slash n moves the cursor to the next line if i say build and run you see int min is equal to minus 21474836488 that is the minimum value possible for integer type of data so that's what i have here minus 21474836488 we can also display the maximum value possible i go back to code blocks i hit enter here i am going to copy this line of code and paste down here i say int max and this place i am going to replace int underscore max if i right click find declaration for int max it is available in the limits dot h its value is 21474836478 that is the max value this is going to be displayed okay 
let me close it if i say build and run you see int max is 21474836475 that is 2 billion plus value i hope you guys have understood how to display the min and max values of integer data type i hit enter now we display the min and max values for float let me go back i'm going to copy this line of code and paste down here i say float min instead of percentage i i use percentage e because i want to display the float min in the scientific notation so i am going to use flt underscore min constant if i say build and run we get an error message that i don't know what is the meaning of float min float min undeclared it is telling error right because float min flt min constant is not available in limits.h it is in another header file that is floats.h file i'm going to include that hash include the float.h header file this time if i build and run you see float min is 1.17 one seven five four nine four you can round up it to two one point two e minus zero thirty eight zero zero is not important here you can just say thirty eight that is actually the minimum value of float data type you can see that one point two e minus thirty eight you can say one point two e minus thirty eight this and that both are same if I hit enter and I go back here and now I display the max value I'm going to copy this line of code and paste down here i say float max and i use here float max and if i say build and run you see the max value is 3.4 plus 38 right i hit enter that is what we have here 3.4 e plus 38 we can display now the min and max values for double data type we go back and i'm going to select these two lines of code copy and paste down and I change here D O U B L E double. Here also I change D O U B L E double. Instead of F L T, I use here D B L and I say here D B L. D B L means double. If I say build and run, you see the minimum is 2.2 2 minus 308 and maximum is 1.7 plus 308. That is what we have here. 2.3 minus 308 to 1.7 right that's what we have here 1.7308 we have displayed the possible min and max values for double data type similarly we can display for character data type now i'm going to copy these two lines of code and paste down here i say char min and char max and this place i say char min and here i say char max here i use percentage i percentage i if i say build and run you see last outputs char min is minus 128 char max is plus 127 that's what i told here char min is minus 128 maximum is 127 this is how we display min and max values possible for different types of data types or i also displayed the precisions for float and double right you remember i just said here printf like this precision or i just say float p r e c i s i o n precision is equal to percentage i backward slash n comma f l t underscore dig semicolon i am going to copy this line of code and paste down this is going to be D O U B L E double and uh, here I say D B L dig and, and copy this line of code and paste down I say here long double we have long double data type I discuss about long double and all later and here I say L D B L dig yes if I say build and run you see float precision is 6 double precision is 15 long double precision is 18 that means float can store six digits after the decimal point double can store 15 digits after the decimal point long double can store 18 digits after the decimal point a very high accurate result you can get using the long double variable or a constant 
I hope you guys have clearly understood how to use float.h error file, limits.h file, how they are used to display min and max values, how they are used to display the precisions of uh, real type data. One more point I want to discuss, data types also indicate type of operations can be performed on specific type of data. That means on integer float double, we can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, we can even check less than, greater than, right? We can perform on characters or strings uh, uppercase to lowercase operations. We can convert a character to uppercase. We can convert a character to a lowercase. But we cannot perform two uppercase or two lowercase operations on integer numbers or numbers actually because they are not valid. We cannot convert a number to a uppercase or lowercase. We can convert a character to an uppercase or lowercase. So two uppercase and two lowercase are valid operations on characters or strings. They are not valid on numbers. Similarly, multiplication operation is a valid operation on numbers, but it is not valid on strings or characters. So data type also indicates what type of operations we can perform on specific type of data. What are the things we understood? We understood four important points with respect to data type. Data type indicates type of data. Second thing we understood data type indicates the amount of memory to be allocated for specific type of data. Third point what we understood, we understood that data type indicates the possible range of values to be stored in a variable or a constant of specific type. And the fourth point what we understood, data type indicates type of operations can be performed on specific type of data. I suggest you people to watch these videos repeatedly. I suggest you people to understand data types clearly because they are one of the most important concepts to understand in any language, not only in C language, in any language. I hope you guys have clearly understood. In the next video tutorial, we get more information on C programming. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.